Oh, what a great series this is going to be. Uh, Rangers and Pens. Elliot, it's one of these strange things in pro sports when you have an excellent elite level player on your team. He leaves and you get hot. What do you do when he comes back? And the Pens are going to face this with Malkin. Well, normally you just drop Malkin back on the other line aside from Crosby. But Nick Benino, Phil Kessel, and Carl Hagelin have been so good. I wonder if this is the time you finally look and say, let's put Crosby and Malkin together. This is since 2007 and 8, playing even strength five on five. When Crosby and Malkin play together, the Penguins score 62% of the goals and take 56% of the shots. Now, those two guys by themselves, they're still excellent. Nobody's knocking them, but the numbers aren't as good. I wonder, Doug, now with that second line playing so well, do you say to Crosby and Malkin, it's your time together? I think you've got to leave that line alone. I think it's been one of the reasons why the Pens have been successful, especially with Kessel, with respect to him. But I like it when you put them together, and I'll tell you why. Because when you're coaching against them, you automatically panic on the bench. Okay, what's the matchup to go against these two guys? And no Ryan McDonough to start this series. Broken hand last week has left him on the shelf here. That means more minutes for Keith Yandel on the left side and Mark Stahl. And young rookie, 2012 first-round pick, Brady Shea will see some ice time as the third pair. Rangers and the Pittsburgh Penguins on television. What a series it will be. And this is where you can watch it and how you can watch it. Game one on Wednesday at Pittsburgh, 8 o'clock Eastern time on Sportsnet. Saturday's game on Hockey Night in Canada. That's a 3 o'clock. Note that time. 3 o'clock Eastern start time on CBC.